good day from St. Petersburg, Russia. There are a lot of interesting things in St. Petersburg. Most tourists visit only the city centre, even though the outskirts of the city conceal no less secrets and inspiring places. This is an abandoned test complex of the ultra high voltage laboratory of the Department of High Voltage Engineering of the Polytechnic University. Visible from the streets, Tesla coils can be seen. I hope we are say Soviet in this year. Look up, Jason. How many years do we think that this was abandoned for? What, sorry? How many years has it been abandoned for? Oh, since the 70s probably. Since the 70s? Jeez. Yeah. I mean, this, this equipment was outdated, so they stopped using And in the 90s they completely closed the polygon. Obvious reasons, because it broke up of Soviet Union. It's kind of sad because, you know, such structure can be used. Check out all those things hanging on the wires up there. They're huge. I don't know what this thing is. Look at that no, no transformer there. you know what that thing is? <laughs> to be honest, no. I'm not the strong and, you know, electricity. George normally has lots of fun facts about these sort of things, but he doesn't have any today. <laughs> What's wrong, Comrade George? <laughs> I'm not prepared. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's absolutely massive. Yeah. And there's a thing hanging off the pulleys uh, over there. I only know what is this. It's the crane, and this kind of crane calls the goat in Russian slang. I mean, the builders call it the gold because yep. of a, you know, it looks like a gold a little bit, you know, but not not classic. But it's just typical industrial uh, crane made of firms, and a lot of them I saw in Soviet Union across the Russia. There's some transponders up there too. Yeah, the and yeah, the capacitors and all this electricity stuff. Yep. The behavior of materials, namely insulation, when exposed to voltages of up to 4 megavolts or 4 million volts, were tested here. Tests have not been carried out for a very long time. Only the apocalyptic landscape of monstrous structures and towers remain, which can be observed by residents of nearby houses. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.